Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you my perspective on shotgun barrels and understanding what each barrel is for and specifically what load is made for each barrel and this is more towards the deer hunters with the smoothbore and the rifled shotgun barrel. Now most of this is facts and a lot of it will be my own personal opinion but when I say my opinions I'll, I'll call those out but the actual fact is a slug barrel is specifically made for sabo rounds and a smooth bore or field barrel is great for rifle slugs now this is just the basic understanding now there's no going there's not going to be any science or equation or anything along that nature that um, I'm going to give you guys but this is just uh, basic common knowledge in the gun realm especially shotgun hunters like I said before uh, a lot of states in the United States only allow people to use shotgun or rifle that can only shoot a handgun cartridge in their state for deer hunting to start off with so the difference between a rifled barrel and a smooth bore is hence the rifle barrel has rifling in it and a smooth bore if you've never seen one or if you don't own one is basically just a polish polished tube there's no surface or anything inside it's just smooth tube um, or pipe look shape like this one these barrels right here came off my personal uh, owned Mossberg 500 this one is a rifle barrel and this one is a smooth bore and like I said uh, the rifle barrel has rifling inside here that, that actually swirls all the way down the barrel 24 inches and then this one is my field barrel or smooth also known as a smooth bore which is just smooth from the chamber all the way down 28, 28 inches to the choke and this is a uh, variable choke tube barrel where you can actually screw in and screw out the chokes change it to whichever choke you desire but specifically for slugs that's what this barrel is made for the smooth bore is rifled slugs because there is no rifling in this barrel and the truth behind these slugs is that they say they're rifled but they're actually not if you google foster slug uh, or rifled slug you'll see that the slug has little angled like serrations basically all the way around the slug and what that does is in a tight barrel smooth bore those serrations actually flatten out at the end of the, the barrel because this barrel kind of tightens up at the end even with a choke and you know you have to check with your actual gun manufacturer for this but Mossberg rec uh, recommends a improved cylinder choke so that on there is a turkey choke as of right now I don't shoot this with these slugs I change it out to an improved cylinder choke and that's like I said that's what Mossberg uh, recommends for Mossberg 500 so anyways back up to the rifle barrel now like I've mentioned earlier rifle barrel is you're gonna get your best accuracy and the best range and all that extra stuff basically almost as accurate as a rifle with a sabo round well you're probably thinking what's the big deal I mean what's the difference well not only are these rounds um, more expensive and what I mean more expensive is one of those sable rounds costs as much as a five pack of these rifled slugs because they're so mass produced and not only are those sable rounds more expensive they're actually like a bullet I mean they're actually like a uh, 50 cal bullet they're not just a piece of lead that's shaped like a badminton that's what this is basically it's nose heavy and it's cone, cone shaped those are actually shaped like an actual bullet like if you if you've never seen a muzzleloader bullet or if you look up a muzzleloader bullet like say 50 cal for instance that's what they look like a 50 cal muzzleloading bullet 
And that's what gives them the most accuracy at longer ranges because they're flying like a high-powered rifle. I mean, they shoot like a high-powered rifle. It's just a 50 cal shotgun. That's all it is. But what I figured out is, um, like I said, you have your foster type slugs, then you have your sabos. You don't want to shoot sabos in a smoothbore. You're going to waste your money for one, and the accuracy is not going to be there. So if you're wanting something that's going to actually cut down on the price of a sabo round, like I said, a box of sabos are about $15, $16. A box of rifled slugs are running about three to four dollars a box of five. So the Sabos are about four times more expensive, which is ridiculous. But then again, like I said, you get your accuracy because each of these have their own ranges. A smooth bore with the rifled slug, I mean, you could be accurate up to 100 yards, but the grouping is not going to be superb as it would be with the rifled barrel. And you can shoot rifled slugs through rifle barrel don't let people fool you and say oh you can only shoot these through this and that and through this no that's not the case if that was the case they would state that on their barrels that oh this is only for this this is only for that and like i said you can shoot any of these rounds through any barrel but you're going to get you're going to suffer in accuracy and you're going to suffer in your wallet by spending a ridiculous amount of money on sabos shooting out of a smooth bore you know, vice versa, rifled slug shooting out of a uh, rifle barrel, you're going to get a lot of lead fouling and stuff like that. So what I shoot is, uh, this is the third style of slug. Well, third style of round for deer hunting. It's called a Brennicky slug. And you can actually see those serrations I was talking about kind of through this shell casing. And these are super accurate out of both of these barrels. So... I just wanted to give you guys my uh, tips and understanding of what uh, this should help you when you're buying rounds for your shotgun. Especially if you, you know, all these season hunters and stuff probably already know this, but I get a lot of um, new guys coming over to the channel and asking questions, which is cool. I appreciate that, and I appreciate, uh, you know, <coughs> giving you guys answers. That's no big deal. I like helping people out as much as I can. So I'm basically am making this video because I've had a lot of questions, like I said, on my slug videos. I posted two videos already with my shotgun. And one of them was with this smoothbore barrel about a year or so ago. And I was using the rifled slugs, as you see there, the red casing. And was getting um, decent groups of 25. It wasn't really working out for me in the end. But uh, top barrel there, you've seen that one. And I was using these Brennicky slugs. And these are awesome out of a rifle barrel. Really awesome. Really accurate. I was getting two, three inch groups at 100 yards, which is um, really sweet for a slug gun. Um, that is like um, almost MOA, sub MOA for a shotgun. I mean, I know MOA out of a rifle is one inch at 100 yards, but three inches at 100 yards for a shotgun is phenomenal. So, anyway. Um, like I said, I just hope you guys understand, get a better understanding of shotgun barrels, and um, this helps you out a little bit. If so, let me know. Um, if you have any more questions about this, just uh, leave a comment in the video or shoot me an email. I usually leave our personal email in the description of the video. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off here, and uh, I hope you like the video, and I hope you like our channel. If so, click the subscribe button, like button, uh, like I said, leave a comment. Um, but, uh, anything else, just let us know, we'll try to help out as much as we can. So, alrighty, well, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.